This is the star of the tribute to Tiger. There she is. She used to really like to sleep underneath the spruce tree that my grandfather planted many, many decades ago. This was about her favorite spot in the world. We have, we have now gotten to near the crash site and you can see by the hyperactivity of the UFO dog that we are close to our target. I, this is somewhat Tiger's last trip. She started underneath her favorite three trees. She then went over here and then she went well she was over there and that's where she went And she continued on down to the lake. And here is where she laid down to die. However, I went and picked her up with the wheelbarrow and took her around up into the house where she died. As dogs go, Tiger was very aware of her environment. She liked the entertainment that the birds and squirrels provided her with while she was under her favorite spruce tree. This is her final favorite area. This is where she would take bones for breakfast to eat them. I would drop them about there and she would then go over and eat the bones where she now lies. This is my first dog cremation and wouldn't you know it as I am placing the body it wound up that she was next to the very birds that plagued her all her life. Now is the time to say goodbye to my old friend and leave the dead to bury the dead. I will go cross country skiing. I'll miss you, Tiger. And here we have at night time, the fire is burning out. Uh, we'll look again at it tomorrow morning in the light of day. Her ashes will go to nourish the wild raspberries and the carbon dioxide hopefully will be taken up by a plant somewhere and made into new life. And here is the cremation site the next morning 
As the old country song went, there's nothing cold as ashes after the fire burned out. Again, goodbye to my good friend Tiger. <laughs>